Mullen. I'm a psychiatrist and I specialize in treatment resistant depression. I went to medical school at Georgetown University and I did my residency in psychiatry at Columbia Presbyterian. And for 36 years I've been specializing mainly in uh, the treatment of, of difficult psychiatric cases depression as well as other uh, illnesses uh, and especially uh, treatment resistant depression. In the last five years I have used uh, a new modality called TMS transcranial magnetic stimulation and I'll get back to this but I want to mention a few other things that are new that help treatment resistant depression. One thing is very low dose lithium, like only 150 milligrams a day, whereas somebody with manic depression might be on 1200. And to our surprise, this low dose often helps people with depression in a week or two. I have 36 people I've collected in the last two years that had a significant antidepressant effect within two weeks. Another uh, thing that is somewhat new is taking vitamin D. We make this hormone, it's not actually a vitamin, it's a steroid hormone. We make this in our skin, or at least we make one step of making it, is when the sun hits the skin. So all of us are low in it since we no longer are farmers or hunter-gatherers and we work in offices and we put on suntan lotion. And people should take about 5,000 international units once a day. And there's a small but significant proportion of people that their being low on this vitamin D is contributing to their depression. Another new modality is transcranial direct current stimulation. That's a long name, but it means running a little electricity from uh, say the shoulder over to the left forehead and uh, and this small amount of electricity has an effect on the brain which has been shown to help depression and I have used it in dozens and dozens of people and sometimes it has been successful it's not as successful as the as the TMS the TMS is really a revolution in psychiatry. The first machine got FDA approved in 2008 and I obtained a machine in 2010. The, uh, what it consists of is a giant magnet and the magnet is uh, caused by running electricity through a copper coil and you pulse enormous amounts of electricity through this coil and that uh, causes a, a magnet to go briefly on and briefly off. So if you put this magnet over the brain you can either stimulate a certain area of the brain usually we would stimulate the left forehead which is the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex technically or we do an inhibitory treatment on the right side of the brain. And if it's uh, excitatory, it makes the neurons easier to discharge. If it's inhibitory, it calms down the neurons and makes them less easy to discharge. And somehow this causes uh, the depression to remit over uh, about two or three weeks you'll see good benefit and then by six weeks you hope that at least half of people that their depression will be completely gone. Harold Sackheim is a famous researcher in, in shock treatment, ECT, and in one of his lectures he said that TMS is much better than shock treatment because it's safer, you don't have to be under anesthesia, you don't go unconscious, 
it's usually painless. In fact, you usually come in and have the treatment and uh, half an hour later you go to your job. And, and he said that besides that, it's more durable, that when somebody gets shock treatment for a major depression, frequently six months or a year later, they're in the same depression again and they need another 10 treatments. Whereas the TMS seems to be much longer lasting, that people sometimes go for a few years without relapse, and when they do relapse, you don't need another 30 treatments, sometimes just a few treatments or five or six treatments will be enough to bring you back to a normal mood. Another interesting thing he said was that he said this magnetic pulse that we're giving to the brain is really a homeopathic dose. It's a very small dose of magnetic energy just going in a few centimeters into the brain and then the brain remains a little bit activated for 45 minutes after the treatment and then everything is back to normal and you can't find anything different in metabolism or EEG everything is back to normal after 45 minutes but after two or three weeks the person's depression is lifting and he says what's happening is the depression the brain is curing itself of depression and this made a lot of sense to me because why else would having 30 treatments in six weeks bring somebody all the way to a normal mood when they'd never been in a normal mood their whole life and then this benefit lasts for three years or more except that the brain wanted to get better and the TMS is enabling it and there's a reason uh, there's more than one reason that the TMS would be enabling it. It, it uh, increases a hormone called uh, uh, BDNF and, and that hormone increases plasticity in the brain and allows the brain to change more easily. So basically the uh, TMS increases the ability of the brain to change and adapt and it adapts in the right direction. It seems almost impossible to harm anybody with this TMS. The only risk is of causing a, a seizure, which happens only in about 1 out of 10,000 treatments. You do have to be careful if the person is very bipolar, because if you do the regular excitatory left-sided treatment, you can cause the person to cycle and have a manic episode or to have more depressions. The same risk you have with standard antidepressants. I have a lot of experience with bipolar depression and we treat it with a low intensity inhibitory treatment on the right and we haven't caused anyone to cycle and it's been just as effective for depression as the left-sided treatment but without the risk of uh, making them worse. It's really uh, one of the most exciting things that's happened in psychiatry. Uh, there's been a, a few big revolutions in psychiatry since I've been practicing. One was the modern antidepressants, starting with Prozac, and the other was the modern atypical antipsychotics, starting with Cyprexa that they're much safer and they have an antidepressant effect, whereas the old antipsychotics actually made you more depressed. And Lamictal, which is an anti-seizure medication originally, but it turns out it works extremely well for depression in many people and has very low side effects. And then uh, a fourth revolution from my point of view is this TMS. And, and we are all hoping that eventually we'll have smaller devices to do the transcranial direct current stimulation to treat depression at home. So it would be much more convenient. But so far we haven't developed 
the best parameters to make it really effective and, and to uh, and to uh, uh, treat a high a high proportion of people successfully. Further information, call me at uh, 212-362-9635. 212-362-9635. Or visit our website, 